Hey, what's up, guys? We're Lexpo back here, and today, oh, I forgot to click on the deck. But today we are playing Pirate Warrior. Why? Because I am dead fucking exhausted. I don't have the will to try and learn a new deck right now. Um, note, as you can see in the bottom left corner, it is almost three o'clock in the morning, and I'm fucking exhausted. So, we are going to be playing Pirate Warrior. Those who don't know, which I doubt is anybody at this point. Fire Warrior wins by just playing pirates and just aggroing out your opponent out of the game. So I really just wanted a deck that I can play today where I just don't have to think. You know, it's not an arena lock list where all my decisions matter. Like this one, I could just kind of wing it and be fine. This is the deck I typically play if I'm really tired and I just want to play some wild uh, in Hearthstone. So I'm going to play that right now because I'm fucking dead. Anyways, with all that being said, uh, let's just hop right into the first game and let's see how things go. All right, guys, I'll see y'all there. All right, our first matchup is against a priest. My guess is a shadow priest, in which case I mull for just aggro cards, right? This is insane. This is insane. Basically, you have to see each of these as two pirates, which is why they're so fucking good. Um, right, because theoretically you have to play seven, so this is four in hand right now. And that means with the anchor, which is two more that I'm going to draw. Fuck, that is so bad. That is actually such a bad top deck. So with if I didn't draw anchor, I would have only had to draw one other pirate and I'd have completed quest. That's like really fucking ideal for me. Anyways, we know it's not Shadow Priest because he didn't transform on one. Let's throw up our part this. Um, playing this here is fine because I have this, this in hand. If he can't kill it, it's so much damage, right? That's one, two, three, four, five, six damage. Actually, funny story, I was playing um, off stream today or off recording. I was just playing for fun basically on the... Um, while I was waiting for something, I played a quick game of this deck where I had possibly the best turn one in this deck, where I went turn one, um, I believe it was Sky Raider, or no, sorry, it was Blood Cell Deckhand, Coin, uh, Celsi Deckhand, which is one of the most powerful draws this deck can have. And it's like not even close, like that start, or that draw is actually fucking filthy. Um, and note, I had lost that game. What the fuck? But yeah, I had actually lost the game with that start. And I know that sounds fucking insane, but to be fair, it was coin... Um... Yeah, it was, it was if I'm not mistaken, it was coin... It was turn one nothing, turn two... Um... Fuck, what, what can I think of his name? Turn two, knife juggler, turn three, uh, double one drop. It was against a paladin, and it basically, basically his draw was optimal, um, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, his draw was fucking filthy. Uh, just how my draw of this game is fucking filthy. He's at like eight health, right? Yeah, but like, the game that I played, man. It was double call to arms, turn, if I'm not saying it was turn three, turn four call to arms with knife jugglers on the battlefield. So that just like kind of wiped my board, but man, I kind of wish I had recorded that game. It was such an insane game. My draw was fucking broken. My opponent's draw was fucking just as broken. And I mean, cool. Aren't you still dead on board? Well, I just punched my mic. I'm sorry about that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, there we go. Okay. Easy clap. Easy win. He played one card this entire game. I don't feel bad. Power Warrior is such a solid deck. Actually, if you guys want to play a really, really solid deck, in my opinion, play this. Anyways. With that being said, let's just keep the next one and hopefully we continue getting these dubs. Alright guys, I'll see y'all in the next one. Oh fuck, not another paladin. <laughs> As I was just saying, sorry if I sound weird, I was 
wrapping my blanket around me. For those who don't play with fucking blankets, I honestly think you're a psychopath. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, this one's actually not that bad. This one's actually really fucking solid. Turn with this, turn to this, coin this. Get four shots. Or two shots, sorry. Hopefully he has a slow draw. That's a fast draw. Never mind. Even more never mind. I'm just gonna play this here. I should have possibly held off a ship's cannon, but at this point, my draw is fucking terrible. I actually should have played the two. I'm so tilted about the fact that I drew the fucking patches for turn men. I wish I would have seen any other minion besides patches. But it was actually against this exact deck that I had lost to with an insane start. I actually fucking broken start. To start with this. This he's gonna do this. Actually no. If he wants to clear it has to be this this. Um, Anchor is disgusting draw. I love this card so fucking much. Hopefully if I can kill this with him not having much. Fuck man, I'm tired. That's terrifying. He's forced to do those trades now, which is the thing. Um... I know it seems weird not playing Anchor here, but that is fucking terrifying. That minion actually gives me fucking the heebie-jeebies, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, this hand is still so fucking good. Theoretically, I could draw, um, Harbor Scamp. If I do draw that, I play that on curve. It forces him to have the Weblord and to clear my board. Did he hit the Weblord? He did hit the Weblord. On a Scamp. That's so tilting. Okay, I'm just gonna hit this, isn't it? Yep. Force him to deal with this. But that was such an unlucky hit. And that was... This is why I fucking despise this minion. Honestly... I was playing this deck when I was playing it earlier today. I contemplated cutting both South Sea Deckhands and Freebooter. It's basically just never want to hit something that's not a one drop, but I play only I play I think every single playable one drop pirate. Oh, I just lose the game. Yeah, a rally is an insta win almost for that deck, so yeah. This is cool and all, it doesn't change the fact that I actually just can't even play Ricardo because it costs 7 because of this bitch. But, yeah, I don't know. Every time I queue into this Paladin deck, it just makes me want to cut the 3 drops out of this deck. They're all fucking terrible. Just want to play another good 1 drop. There's no other good 1 drops. I think I play actually every single pirate 1 drop. Fuck me, man. Actually, fuck me. So, you've drawn 16 cards, you hit double call to arms, one rally. Believe it or not, I'd also take that draw. Take it every fucking day of the week. Uh, this is arguably the worst card to draw in my deck. It's a good one drop card that can just wipe his board somehow. That was the worst minion to buff on. 4, 6, 7, 4, 6, 10, 3, 14. 15 after hero power. Uh, uh, 21 after call to or Yeah, so this is 21. Oh no, he didn't actually have the uh, plus one plus one. Start of his turn. Doesn't actually, I was lethal. It was lethal. It was actually 27. 
doesn't change the fact that, I mean, everything went his way. Double card arms draw is actually unbeatable. I'm just going to get C before I get even more tilted at this game. I can't believe I lost to the same bullshit twice today. All four four drops in that deck drawn on turn three. What can you do? Anyways, uh, let's just skip the next one and I'll see y'all there. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, fuck. I am so tired. I... Maybe I'm tired because it's 3 in the morning and I've been up since very fucking early, but... Man, I feel so much more tired than I normally do. I actually, like, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm like a 15 on my level of tired. It's fucked, and it hurts my head. This sounds actually not bad. Only draw that could be dra could be better would be a Blood Sail deck hand on top deck. Um, because then it could be this, this, deck hand on two, or on three, anchor, chillin'. What the fuck is that? Let's do spell damage. I hate this card so fucking much. I think this card is awful. Sick, I drew an unplayable five drop. I swear this card has given me more unplayable minions in all the games I've played with this deck than it's given me playable ones. Man, Pirate Warrior is the most frustrating deck, I think, to play. It either works so fucking well where it's just like, oh, I just killed my opponent on turn four. Or the deck does fucking nothing and I just want to die while playing it. It's actually a solid 50-50. Like, half the time I'm like, okay, this is fine. The half the time I'm like, ah, oh, I'm punching him in the face with three 1-1s one -ones and... Not really getting anywhere. It's turn three. If you've only taken seven damage, I'm pretty sure I lose. <laughs> oh, this deck, man. This deck. This deck hits diff. I actually hits diff. The fact that I hit this minion, which is actually unplayable, hurts. Like, it physically hurts me. Nice block is a hell of a card. I'm gonna play around Flame Ward. I didn't think it would be Flame Ward, I just assume it's that one card. What is it called? Uh, why can I not think of the name? Ice Block? It, it basically just has to be Ice Block at this point. I guess it could theoretically be Counterspell, but... There's no way after I see that card. There's no way it's Counterspell. I'm not gonna hit hero power yet, because if I do hit a pirate, I do want to play the pirate. Never mind. I don't want to touch that pirate with a 10 foot pole. Oh man. Any other one drop pirate would have been phenomenal. There's only what? One, two, three, four, five, six other one drop pirates in my deck. Also, any of the two drops, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Would have been playable. There were three pirates in my entire deck, so out of the 14 left, three of them weren't playable. Both captains and the um, the Zoth first mate. Guess which one I hit? Like sometimes you're just not meant to win games. Let's just go with Lothab here. What is he gonna do to the Lotheb? I mean, he can't play another ice block here because it costs eight. He can't draw an ice block and have it cost zero. That costs seven. That's five if I'm not mistaken for the ice block. Yeah, that's... Second inconspicuous is his only out this game. I'm gonna slam Rakara. Fuck, I didn't mean to hit this. Oh, I'm mad at myself. I'm actually fucking terrible. I didn't mean to fucking hit that. Man, I'm so tired. I can tell I'm tired because I did that. Like, honestly, that just tells me like, yo, you should just go to fucking bed. And I'm dead. Oh, my 
my fucking god. Does he have both Sorcerer's Apprentice? He actually, oh, he actually hit it. Okay, I'm just dead. Fucking Christ, man. He had to have drawn both of those in the top, like, fucking ten cards of his deck. And he fucking managed to, so he got the other ice block for two. Like... Legitimately nothing I could have done. Legitimately not a single thing I could have done. Even if I would have played this properly with this bitch on curve, I had still lost there. It's... When you draw this good, I mean, I don't understand how he's not legend yet, but hey. Anyways, let's just skip the next one. Alright, time to get god drawed by a fucking pirate warrior because that seems to be all that's happening to me tonight. Actually, I mean, I can't complain. I was playing modern with a friend tonight. And, um... Yeah, let's just say that I did my fair share of god drawing. But it's less fun if I can't complain about it, right? To be fair, my god draw was four... I, I was playing Amulet Titan, for those who play modern uh, magic. Um, and I played four Titans on turn three. It was not fair. I played four Titans on turn three, gave two of them haste, punched my opponent in the face, or punched my buddy in the face in this case. And just one. It's pretty fucking great, in my opinion. I loved it. Yeah, I, I killed him on turn three. Because I also had a fucking... I was able to play... Uh, what's his face? The... Um, an amulet? Or, sorry, I was able to play a... Why can't I think of his name? Why can't I think of his name? A... Dryad of the whatever. Which just gave me enough board presence um as well as you know just getting four valakuts to kill my opponent it felt really fucking good and a little bit oppressive not gonna lie so hey hey is this gonna be the next game where i'm gonna get my opponent really fucking low and it's not gonna matter because he's gonna have a board wipe on four five six huh or ice block or whatever cannon pirate he's gonna type to three one Yep. Oh, and the, okay. I was expecting him to snipe at the uh, tutu, but I'll take that, I guess. Snipe the tutu. Oh, I didn't snipe the tutu for once. You know, I guess sometimes high roll. Genuinely, sometimes high roll. This hand is actually pretty solid. This hand is double trigger quest. I didn't even notice he was fucking quest until he played his pirates. And a ship's cannon. I actually even noticed him actually playing it, so hey. Draws anchor here. You place anchor. Fuck, man. Fuck. I'm actually falling asleep while playing this deck. You see, that's the disadvantage of playing a deck like this. Is that this deck kind of puts you to fuck to sleep. Um. Yeah. Remember when I said I'm gonna just get god drawed by my opponents? So, that's a thing. I meant to attack with my guy first. Fuck me, man. Actually, fuck me. I've lost this game. Oh, trading here changed the pace of this game so fucking much. I don't just get free value out of the 2-1. Oh, uh, I meant to say 2-2. Two, two. Oh, this is actually so fucking painful. I need to quit while I'm ahead, man. Maybe a top deck of one drop pirate. That's the only out I have. Hey, I'm actually have to play that. So that should complete class. Doesn't change the fact that I've lost this game, but 
Let's hope that Rakara, the first person to resolve the Rakara will just win. Typically that's how it's been for me so far, where it's just like first resolve Rakara does first resolve Rakara things. If he plays Rakara... My advantage is that if he wants to kill my guy, he has to trade, trade, trade. If he leaves a 7-7 seven, seven up, he risks just dying. Give me Gorhal to punish him. I swear this is not pre-recorded. Fuck. You. I swear this is not pre-recorded, I just predict the fucking Gorhal. Oh, fucking thank Jeebus Christ, man. That was way too close for comfort. Anyways, next one. Only 145 more wins, and then we're 1,000 wins. Anyways, with that being said, let's just queue it up. Okay. As I'm yawning, again, the next... <laughs> man, I am... So fucking tired. Give me a one-drop pirate. Perfect. This is almost perfect hand. When I say almost perfect, I mean... Hopefully there's enough tempo to out-tempo him on turn one. one drop pirate? Okay, that's actually pretty fine too. Uh, that's a pretty fine turn two pirate. It's this, coin this. Maybe I hit second brigand? Rush brigand? Is that brigand? I have this hopefully into a one drop pirate. Isn't the one drop pirate mean fuck what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight miss. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hit. So I guess it's kind of a 50 50. So I guess it's it's almost a 50 50 for draw and then a 50 50 for. Um, so I guess, yeah, it's a 50% chance that I actually complete quest this turn. If not, it's just poo poo. Ah, yes, that is the best card for him to have. One drop pirate, one drop pirate, one drop pirate. Beautiful. Okay. So we're getting our weapon cost two. We can theoretically draw a pirate that costs one and then another one that costs one for turn. And then we're in a really good position, so we can play both of them. With the Ankar, be Omega far ahead, and hope that's just good enough to carry. But at this point, I think I might just lose. To be fair, I have to see it as he's at 11 right now. Is we, Leroy is just six from hand, right? Hey, see? You see a mo in the house tonight? Damn. I've actually been listening to a lot of that rapper. I don't know if you guys know who Tech 9 is. I listened to a fair amount of him recently, so I got a lot of his songs just stuck in my head. Oh, Riot Maker. Such a good song. I actually fuck with it super hard. Do I draw a one drop pirate? No, I do not. That would have been a really good draw. But I sadly did not hit it. Man, see, this is why I hate fucking the three drop pirates. And I would just rather one drop pirates most of the time. If I could, I would actually play only one drop pirates in this deck. Oh my god, fuck me. But yeah, if I could, I would play... 29 one drop pirates and then six of three in hand so that's nine so he's at three Wait, did he complete quest here what the fuck do i hit his one one yeah i didn't Man, why do people play these fucking garbage ass three drops, man? These three drops just piss me off. This is unplayable, this is a play like, oh my god. So that's six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Six, seven. I love how this is the card he hits. I love how he just hits Freezing Trap. Oh, I'm so tilted. I am actually so genuinely tilted in this game right now. My guess is he legitimately top deal one damage, summon a 1-1. One, one. The best draw for him here. Okay. Actually, no, that was the best draw for him. Man, why the fuck can his hero power just target minions? I still don't... Why the fuck have I drawn every single fucking 2-drop in my deck? You know, some things I will never genuinely understand. I'm dead to a spell top deck, right? 6... 13... Yeah, I'm dead to a spell top deck. Show me any spell in your deck and I'll concede. Why the fuck are you roping me, you dirty fucking asshole? Just... Actual best card to draw in his deck. You could have just done that in the first fucking place, you actual fucking idiot. Believe it or not, if you didn't target my Rakara, I was also just fucking dead. If I... He deserves to be punished there. And he wasn't. It, I fucking hate that deck so fucking much. Because it never works for me. If I would make an idiotic misplay like that, I know for a fact I would have joined Beardo. I would have drawn another fuck. I would have just cycled fucking trade minion into trade minion for the rest of my fucking turn. I would never have hit a fucking spell. But I guess my opponent just built better. Anyways. Uh, fuck, man. I am so tilted. I'm so tilted. I just don't have the will to play another fucking game. I'm exhausted. I'm tilted. I did not show nearly the power level that I think this deck has. I definitely think this is the best deck in the format right now. And I feel like I actually got fucking grief just like five whatever games in a row. I am too tired to even think about how many games I fucking played. I just know that I should not have lost three out of five games. Paladin is Paladin. I don't know why I just can never beat that fucking shitty fucking deck. Oh, the fact that both of them have had double call to arms by turn 5 is kind of ridiculous. Mage, I mean, double ice block by turn 5 is fucking ridiculous. And Hunter drew... I'm pretty sure that Hunter just had a fucking orgy with Leprechauns, man. Uh, anyways, before I say something I regret, I'm gonna... I need to end this off here. I am way too fucking tired, way too fucking tilted. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, as I always say. Rep the gang. Follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter to know when I go live. I'm going to try to be live Saturday. No guarantees. I might go out with some friends. So, yeah. Anyways, with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next one. Alright, guys? Peace.